Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? Hope everything is well. Y'all, let me just say this here. We're going to talk about what happened in by Gracie Mansion in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. About the young lady that got um, sexual assaulted. And it was 1 o'clock in the morning. Like, y'all already know, like, we have mad people here now. So all types of things is happening. I'm just saying to y'all women. These are my keys, y'all. I carry my keys everywhere I go. And I don't have them in my bag. I have them in my hand. I'm not saying that it's always going to help you. But just know. I have a little teddy bear on here so it can fool them. Okay? But I do have things on my keys. That's just me. Because I have been attacked before and this helped me. You understand? First, I have this. Okay? If you see somebody coming towards you and you feel a little weary about them, I know everybody that looks at you funny doesn't have you know, bad intentions to hurt you. But you just don't know. You know what I'm saying? You just don't know. So it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to, you know, do what I do, I do what I do. This is something I have on my keys and ladies. This is something you can have. Mm-hmm. If you want one of these here, I have plenty. You can go, I'm going to leave in the description my email. Mm -hmm. And I'll send you one. Yes, I will send you one of these. I have plenty of these because I give them to my friends because you need to have it. This is a whistle. I know the 10 whistles back in the day. Yes, they work. Yes, like you blow <whistles> loud. You heard that? You blow. Okay, because people going to turn their head. Like people going to look out the window. It is what it is. It is what it is. Secondly, this is easy to get in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. I have pepper spray. Yes, I do have pepper spray on my keys. Okay? Third. This is illegal, but, I mean, I'm a woman. I will go to court and fight it because it's just what it is. This here is a... Glass breaker. Okay? It holds your fingers, but it can do damage. You understand? If you need to. This is illegal, so you might not be able to get this, but I had this here, and I'm going to keep it on my keys. But when I go, like, to different buildings, you know, when I go to work or whatever, they do take this from me. They give it back, but this cannot go nowhere. They don't even care about all the rest of the stuff on here. They don't care. This cannot go in there. This is a glass breaker, but it's something else too, okay? So you can use this here. You can use this here for if someone tries to attack you. You understand? Not just because you mad at somebody. Like, don't, you know, I'm not promoting that. No, I'm not. I'm promoting that you to protect yourself. You take this here. You hold it in your hands. You have your keys. Just, it's good, y'all, because it grips every finger. You understand? You have the eyes. You understand? You have the temple. You have the ears. You have the mouth. You have hair. You have hair. You understand? You do what you need to do to help yourself. Like, for real. Then I have on here, but when I go out, this here. Like I say, when I wear my ponytail, I do take this out and it is a pen. And I stick it in my hair. Mm -hmm. I just put it around my hair and I stick it in my hair. Mm -hmm. No one knows it's there. Okay? So you can basically act like you're scratching your head and pull it out. You understand? It's here. Mm -hmm. It's a pen. Yes. It's a pen and this can do damage. It's not illegal. Okay? 
we're women and we need to protect ourselves because this is just getting to be too much you're just gonna sexually assault a person in the middle of the street this is crazy this is how bold they are so you have to get bolder that's listen we gotta protect ourselves sorry uh, like we're going to do this okay here this is a key this is my key but besides it being my key it's my now I may not be able to get to this okay I'm, I'm gonna be real with you I might not be able to get to that so I'm not really worried about that but I have it just in case you understand I have it just in case but seriously y'all these here these whistles are so good I, I'm, I'm serious it, I, I, I'm so serious you blow this whistle blow it even the police can hear it. they like two blocks away blow it as hard as you can and don't stop. You know you got good air inside you. Blow it till you can't blow no more. You understand? You just keep on blowing. I'm saying this to say all of that because that is a shame that this lady got assaulted in Manhattan in the middle of the street. And thank God for Hector. He was a security guard. You know, he came and helped her you know what i'm saying thank god thank you hector like you know we need more men like you that stand up you know what i'm saying so if it wasn't for him i don't know but he said when he got to her she was full of you know the be she was full so this guy literally hurt her you know what i'm saying he hurt her he hurt her y'all but um i just wanted to come on here and let y'all know like Listen, when you go out, I know there are a lot of keys. People feel like, I ain't bringing all them keys. Listen, and you better bring them. They ain't, listen. Until you get close to your house, then you put it in your bag. Okay? Put it in your bag when you get to your house or, you know, you safely in your house. You better have keys or nothing in your hand. Like, for real. Like, seriously, I know there are a lot of keys. It is what it is. You understand? Ain't nothing wrong with having keys. Ain't nothing wrong with a little teddy bear on here. It's cute, okay? My little teddy bear be like, whoop. <laughs> my little teddy bear, that's my nervousness. When I get nervous, I just be like, <laughs> I get nervous. So I squeeze him. So it is what it is. But this will help you. Because we should not be having to go through this here. We're getting tired of this here. These guys just acting all, all freaking crazy on us. Like, that was sad. Like, she's really young. And people say, oh, what's she doing? It's 1 o'clock in the morning. Like, you know, you don't know she have a job or where she was coming from. You know what I'm saying? That don't give the right, no one the right to attack you out here. But anyway, y'all, please be safe. Take my advice, ladies, and do what you got to do. Like I said, I'm going to leave my email in there and hit me up. If you want one of these, it's loud, y'all. Like, <laughs> blow it. Blow it. It hurt my own damn ears. It hurt my ears. But I can whistle, so y'all. <laughs> I can whistle, but this is louder. So, mm -mm. y'all, just do it. I'm serious. All right, y'all. I'm going to go. Y'all hit that like button and subscribe. Watch this video because, you know, I feel bad for her, but I'm glad she's okay. Yeah, she's going to be okay. God is good. She's going to be okay. She's going to be okay. And thank you, Hector. Thank you so much. We need a man like you that's going to come to our rescue. Because she did scream, and he heard her, and he did something about it. All right, y'all. Watch the video. 7 o'clock, I'm Tanya Rivero. New images tonight of the man police say tried to sexually assault a 19-year-old woman. Authorities say someone grabbed her and threw her to the ground. All this happening after 1 o'clock this morning in a quiet area of the Upper East Side, only a block from the mayor's residence at Gracie Mansion. And it could have been so much worse if a heroic doorman didn't step in. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo. On a summer night on the Upper East Side, a block from Gracie Mansion, you'd be lucky to hear so much as a cricket, never mind the piercing scream of a young woman struggling to free herself from this suspected attacker. I was more scared today than I was yesterday. Hyundai regularly walks East 90th Street alone toward East End Avenue to get to her boyfriend's house. The very block police say there was an attempted rape 
early Saturday morning. I would never think that it would happen in this neighborhood because it's more safe in here and much more relaxed. The assault sending shivers down the spines of young women who live in the area. 20-year-old Gabby Newman is not so shocked because of her own recent experiences. There was a guy, like my dad and I were going to get groceries and he was like walking towards me, thrusting his hips at me. Even worse than that happened at 1.15 in the morning. Not many people were out or awake, but someone heard that 19-year-old girl screams as she was pushed to the ground and sexually assaulted. She was, you know, blood and um, in distress, sweating, crying. It was, it was, it was horrible. Doorman Hector Mateo says the girl bit her attacker. I try to chase him. I, I pointed my flashlight at him. He was working late and rushed out of his building to help. I was thinking about my daughter. I was thinking about the shareholders, the people that live here and their young daughters. Detectives are now looking to identify this suspect. NYPD Deputy Commissioner Kaz Daughtry writing on X, such an atrocious crime not only affects the victim, but sends waves through the entire community. It just makes you want to be more alert. On the Upper East Side, Anthony Carlo, Channel 7.